everybody welcome back to my channel i am so excited to be making this video for you guys i know it's been a little while since i have made a juicy video here on youtube but i am going to bring you two quick and easy recipes that are really good and that's going to help nourish your body so if you're interested let's go ahead and get into it starting off for this recipe you are going to need some turmeric ginger one or two lemons depending on if you want a lemon for each juice some apples a whole stalk of celery and some carrots and i will make sure to go ahead and put the exact measurements in the description so make sure to check that out i'll go ahead and make sure it has all the information that you need so you know how much of each ingredient okay so i'm just going to go ahead and start off by prepping all of the ingredients for the first juice but I've heard it's summertime, everybody's trying to get more fruits and veggies in, and the girlies on TikTok have really been getting into celery juice, but not everyone can tolerate plain celery juice. So we're making celery juice, but with a little twist. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so all the ingredients are here. So for this juice, I'm making it a little bit different compared to how I would normally do it. When I usually make celery juice, you know, I literally just make plain celery juice but because there are a lot of new people and there are people who are trying to get into juicing and can't necessarily tolerate the taste I am just going to make it a little bit easier and make it a little bit more palatable so this is another way to go ahead and get celery juice down and I really think you're gonna love it so I'm just gonna go ahead and start off by putting my celery in ginger oh my gosh i love ginger so much so so good add my lemon in with the skin and then i'm just going to roughly chop these apples remove the seeds if you like i don't worry about that because i feel like the juicer is going to remove them so i just give my apples like a rough chop but you can literally put the whole apple in here if you want to but literally so i can fit everything in here in one batch i'm just gonna quick chop don't come for me and my knife skills they're not the best thing i truly love about this juicer is when they make this new large hopper attachment it literally makes everything so easy and you can fit all of your ingredients for one juice in this large hopper at one time literally saves you so much time one thing that i absolutely love about this nama j2 is that while it's juicing one recipe you can literally start working on prepping another recipe and that's literally what i'm going to be doing going with one of my classic favorite juices i believe it's so simple so easy and it tastes absolutely amazing i'm just going to do it with a slight twist so we're making carrot apple ginger juice i do have a little bit of lemon i am going to use that as a natural preservative i love adding lemon into my juices for that reason but we're also going to add turmeric just to give some extra antioxidant i'm super excited about that and i hope you guys try adding that in because it's so so cool. okay so now we are done with the celery juice we have a good amount in here and i'm so glad that i went ahead and used that has the built-in strainer so all i'm going to do is get ready to bottle it up but i am going to grab a glass so i can just do a quick taste test okay, so we're going to go ahead and do a quick taste test this is much better but if you're wanting if you're somebody who wants it sweet i probably would not do the ginger the lemon adds a different type of brushness, but I'm telling you, this is the easiest way to be able to get it down. It's so much better, so much more palatable than trying it the regular way, oh my gosh. So let's say you're at home and you want to start bottling up and storing your juices and you don't want to have to pull out a juicer, blender, whatever, every day. You're just going to get you a couple of these mason jars. I will link them for you, but you can find them at Target, Walmart, like your regular grocery store. Also 
have a little French here, our turmeric, and I'm gonna put a good amount. This is like literally larger than my thumb, probably an inch and a half to two inches. I'm just gonna slice it in half and throw it in here. I, in the description, I will go ahead and make sure to let you know how much of each ingredient. I do have two drops of carrots. I did grab a large amount of apples, but that's because for this specific recipe, I'm actually going to taste as I go because I'm using a lot of turmeric, a lot of ginger, and sometimes that stuff can get spicy, so you do need something to help mellow it out. Carrots are naturally sweet, and apples, I love gala apples. Those are sweet and very affordable apples, so I grabbed some of those. And then I also have a lemon, so I'm just gonna see how the flavors play out, and then I'll go from there as far as adding in more apples or whatever I need to do. Now, another question that I get asked often is how do you prevent your juicer from being stained from turmeric? And my simple answer to that is you don't. There's literally nothing that you can do to prevent it from staining, but the best thing that I've learned to do is immediately after using it, go ahead, throw it in the sink, rinse it out, rinse out all the pieces and parts. I can already start to see some yellowing in here, and that is okay. It does come out. Now, I have had instances where I did not rinse the juicer out right away and it did stay stained and it took several washes, but I still kept juicing, still kept using my juicer for different recipes. It didn't alter the taste of anything, but after you do enough washing, it eventually will come out. For me, it wasn't that big of a deal, but it is a possibility when you have this juicer or probably any juicer in general, so just want to let you guys know that. Nothing left, so let me go ahead and just strain everything. four days so I truly don't think that I'll be pulling out my juicer so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw them in here and this will probably be a really good option if you have kids and they like things a little bit sweeter or if you're new to juicing and you want your juicers to be on the sweeter side then you could try this too but carrots do have a natural sweetness so you don't have to go about this step but I definitely overbought when I was at the farmers market And then I'm just gonna go in with a good hunk of ginger. Close that up and let it do what needs to be done. Okay, so as you can see, it is done. And you can notice a visible change in the color when you don't have all the veggies and other herbals in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a strain. There is one thing that we have to do before we get this bottle up. We have to add some black pepper because that is going to help us to activate the tumor. So, I'm just gonna give a few cracks of that in here. And I'm just gonna stir it around. The only thing that I hate about this one that I use is sometimes it clumps up in here, but it's so good. And for me personally, I don't taste it. Now, if you don't want to add black pepper to your juices, then don't put the turmeric in because you're not going to get the benefits that you can get from turmeric if you don't activate it with the black pepper. But you will still have a really, really good juice. And my first juicing video on here, I actually juiced watermelon and carrot apple ginger juice without the turmeric lemon. And that was really a hit and that is still one of my favorite go-to juices so if you want a different recipe i'll definitely make sure that i put it in the description somewhere here here or down below so that you guys can see it but i'm gonna go ahead and grab my mason jars of course and we'll go ahead and get everything packaged up Okay, 
right guys so i have four juices this is perfect because i will have one for every day of my work week now remember when we do our juicing if you're not going to drink the juices within 72 hours it is important for you to go ahead and pop it in the freezer you can take it out the night before leave it on the counter leave it in the fridge so it can defrost but you just want to make sure that you're drinking them when they are at peak freshness and before the ingredients start to go bad because we did not pasteurize these juices like the ones that are in the store. So they're not going to last as long and you don't want to waste your produce. So if you know you're not going to drink them, then go ahead and freeze them. But you guys, that is all for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Sorry that I've been away for a little while, but I'm so happy to be back making these recipes. Y'all, this has been such a pleasure and it's really made me so happy just to put this video out here and start creating again for you guys. Let me know what else you guys want to see and I'm so excited that it's summertime. All the fruit, all the veggies are just here in abundance, which makes me so happy to just have different colors and fruits and veggies and things like that in my diet. So let me know what you're going to be juicy this summer, what kind of meals you're going to be eating, if you're traveling, let me know. I recently just got back from DR last week, so that's one of the reasons why I've been away. But if you guys have any questions about anything or any suggestions on what you want to see, just let me know. I literally cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. And as always, thank you guys for the likes, the comments, subscriptions, and for sharing. I'll see you guys next time.